great day to be alive. No, <laughs> it's another morning. Do you wake up groggy, froggy, and a little soggy? That your sinuses are like, or your brain is, or you're kind of feeling like, eh. I do. I roll over in bed and I think, oh Lord, what do you want me to do today? God, do you want me to get up or do you want me to stay? Are you going to rapture me today or are you going to take me home or are you going to make me go through one more day without you? And I really do roll over and say that and think that because, frankly, every day, I can't imagine any day that if I didn't do it with the Lord, it suck. <laughs> God may have made the day, and he may have caused the sun to shine and the rain to fall on the wicked and the evil and the good and the happy and the sad and the whatever circumstances that people are going through. But without that realization of knowing that he's with me to help me through my day, man, I'd, I'd stay in bed, you know, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you throw the covers back over and say, hey, you know what, I don't want to deal with it today. Let's work on it tomorrow. You know, and for me, though, I'm thinking, hey, you know what? As I'm laying there, okay, Lord, since I'm getting up, man, it's one more day closer to you. One more day, we're going home. <laughs> one more day, and it could be there. Now, you know, if you've listened to me, you know that personally, I don't think we're going to see the Lord's return until after 2012. That I don't believe in 2011, I don't believe in 2012. But any time after that, you know, I'm all ears and all eyes watching for the Lord's return. That Jesus should come again, you know, and snatch us away and take us to be where he is that day but until then i don't know what day or the hour it could be because i could drop dead today yeah. <laughs> and go home yeah. <laughs> so i don't always really wake up joyful i wake up kind of groggy and froggy but as soon as i think about the lord as soon as i see jesus you know just kind of like behind the scenes working with me in my morning you know like kind of like michael get out of bed you know, then I come out here and I sit down and I go, Oh, man, it's the Lord. He's here. What's he got to say to me? Then I kind of get wound up and I'm excited to find out what God has in store for me today. That may not be true for you. You may, you know, have to go get the coffee, which I will in a minute. But I'm always thrilled in some way in my mornings. And my wife goes nuts over that part because she's not a happy camper in the morning. But... I'm always joyful in some way that God has given me another day, you know, to participate with him and to see what he is going to do in me, through me, to me, change me, make me, arrange my life in such a way that I can see him in it, and to discover and uncover what God the Father has determined and laid out for my life and his will to meet today in some ways, special and unique, that I could see and say, look, it's the Lord today. God bless it. And God keep it. And God let us walk in it. And isn't that what you want today? Let's find out what the Lord may say. Boy, that all right, we're going to slip away. <laughs> and as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. You know how we exhorted and charged every one of you that you would walk worthy of God, who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory. You should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You were sometimes you were sometime darkness, but now are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Christ Jesus, unto the glory and praise of God. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Whether therefore you eat, or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Yeah! Let's go to McDonald's! <laughs> yeah! Let's go to Burger King! Yeah! Let's go get some food! <laughs> and do it all to the glory of God! In reality, whatsoever you do, simply take the Lord with you, because he's there anyways. So you might as well acknowledge the fact and come to a reality of knowing that in all things, 
He is at work both to do it to will of his good pleasure, so you might as well be aware and be conscious of his presence so that you could participate with him in the realization that not only is he living inside you, but you get to see him, know him, and walk with him daily throughout your day today, throughout your life, in everything you do. As I tell people at some point in time in some of these videos, he's even there in the bathroom. So if you're older, some of you go, yeah, we really pray. <laughs> and you go, yeah, praise the Lord, he answered prayer. And you know what I mean. But for the rest of us, you know, who really don't care, you know, we just know that God is there wherever we are, however we are. Because God, though we like to say he's everywhere, it's not that he's in everything, but that he's already seen it all and laid it all out so that he can meet you, especially in the morning, to direct you as you trust in him with all your heart, as you walk with him, and you don't try to figure out too much, but you try to just listen to what he has to say to you to direct you in the way you should go. Because it's too easy to run off without directions and then try to use a GPS. But if you got directions, you can go exactly straight to the place where he wants you to be. Wouldn't that be neat to see? Ask of me things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands. Command you me. A new heart will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. Thus saith the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. If two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Have faith in God. Verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. I know often people get carried away with that and there's a popular, you know, idea of just running off and doing your own thing and rearranging the world by just, you know, some geography lessons about trying to throw mountains aside and trying to move continents. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but part of that is true and part of it isn't. You see, the extension of what you ask in getting whatever you want is part of Normally, you ask first what his will is so that you could ask according to his will so that you can get what you want. Because if you put yourself in alignment with what God is doing, then of course it happens for you. And then he can move to you his will and cause you to recognize that things that operate according to his love for you, he will give to you. And you'll always ask according to what you know he's going to give. Because... Part of it isn't really he's going to give you anything you want, although, like Romaine used to say, you know, be careful what you pray for, God might give it to you, because it may be an object lesson that he's teaching you not to ask for that. <laughs> so, there's a balance, there's a balance. But the balance is, in my mind, if you ask him and talk with Jesus daily, as you should, then you know how to pray. You don't just ask for anything you want, or your way, but you ask for his will, and for him to say, what he wants you to pray. I always ask God, Lord, direct my prayer. That way I know I got what I want. It's up to you how you do it. But today, take the Lord with you and then enjoy it. This is the day he has made. And you can rejoice and be glad in it no matter what you're going through.